Okay, hey guys, and welcome to today's video. Sorry for the messy dust area. Um, today's video was requested by my friend Janine. You might have seen her in the comments section of the video, and she requested me to do a how to draw fortune teller tutorial. I'm trying to decide if I want to do this traditionally because I've been wanting to do it since I got an iPhone and upgrade to my traditional work, but. Anyway, side point, she wanted me to do a fortune teller for her project she's working on. So, Janine, this is for you. I hope you enjoy. Hopefully, you'll be able to follow along. If not, you can always just pause the video and try to keep up with it. Um, my number one tip, you want to sketch lightly and start with pencil first. If I decide to go the traditional route or route or whatever. Uh, I'm using a Sharpie, so that's easier for you guys to see and easy to follow along with. Um, so that way it can help with that. And we haven't done a traditional video in a while with drawing tutorial. So this might be something new and exciting. So um, anyway, if you have any questions or anything like that, what materials I'm using, I will go over that in the overhead angle. So stay tuned for that and keep on watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Turn your notification bell on so you won't miss the video. And thank you for watching. Okay, hey guys, and welcome to today's tutorial. And yes, it's a little different. And yes, I am excited. And on the screen you see right there is the picture uh, the fortune teller girl, you can always pause the video if you want to, um, basically copy it. So, I am using a Sharpie, and you guys can follow along with that. So, first, I like to draw the eyes, and draw the face shape around the eyes after doing the mouth and nose. Uh, for the mouth, I usually like to do a curved line, and then a curved line for the smile underneath that line. Um, I'm doing the turban right here. Uh, sorry, it's a little bit cut off, but I moved the paper a little bit so you can see. Um, so for this one, I was really excited that I am doing uh, something different, which is the traditional tutorial route um, for my tutorials. Usually I would do Procreate, and I thought, let's go back to my roots. Let's go back to traditional drawings, and that's what I'm doing. For the crystal ball, I am doing a circle and rectangles underneath that. Um, for this one, I did long hair, and um, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Um, if you guys have any questions or anything like that, let me know in the comments below. Janine, I hope this helps you uh, in some way. And for the skin tone, I am using a brush marker. It is a bigger tool for a bigger type drawing. So, you know, want to use a bigger tool for a bigger uh, drawing. Um, that's what I'm using here. This is by Art Line 6. Uh, things are kind of like shaped like Legos. And it's pretty fun um, tool, but very uncomfortable um, because of the pen. But that's just my take on it. For the turban, I'm using a Crayola Super Tip. Uh, you can use any marker, anything, or anything you find around your home. You can use color pencils, you can use watercolor, you can use anything. You can use Procreate. I just wanted to take a break from Procreate because uh, I wanted to do traditional today. So, this is a red Crayola marker, the original kind, and I just wanted to use supplies that you guys have at home. So. There is that. So we're almost done coloring her. Uh, if you want to see more traditional drawing tutorials, please let me know. I'll be happy to do them. Um, this is just the first one I've done in a very long time um, for that one. Uh, for the crystal ball, I'm using fundamental uh, markers for this one. And I don't know the brand. I think it's by Artist Loft. I'm not really sure though. Don't correct me. I mean, correct me if I'm... You know, but you know what I'm saying. So, uh, I got my spark back for drawing. I was feeling a little down over the weekend. So I mean, comments I've been getting. Um, but I'm not going to address it because I've already addressed it before. But, uh, yeah. So, green one, I'm using a Crayola marker. 
Um, so guys, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Thank you so much for watching. The reference photo will be on my Instagram as long as examples. Thank you for watching. Bye, guys.